Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial regarding Organica, the Instagram tag that you can use for your Instagram posts and uh, uh, Instagram stories. Um, first thing to say, you need Adobe Photoshop. Here it is. Uh, make sure it is at least an Adobe Photoshop CS6. Even better if you have a CC. So let's open um, the folder and you will see that you, you have like different presets for the posts, different uh, presets for the stories, and you have previews also, so different ideas I wanted to give you on how you can use the, these files. Um, the first thing to do I'm really curious about the pro this product because it's the first I'm launching. Uh, so I'm really curious to see what's gonna be, what's gonna happen. Um, so first thing to do, uh, here you will have um, the link of this tutorial, but I couldn't place it for now because I still didn't publish the video, I'm recording it right now. So first thing to do is to install the fonts. Make sure you install these fonts before starting using the, the files so install the font and install the fonts and then relaunch uh, Adobe Photoshop make sure to do this um, then here you have different images that I used for the dummy previews these ones just in case you're curious about where I found the images they're royalty free so so they're royalty free, so technically you can use them. Uh, so let's open one of the files. They're all created in kind of in the same way. I will, you know what, I'm, I'm gonna create a story. Let's create this one. So this is the story number one. And as you can see, your photo here. So I prepared the the layers of the fee, uh, the Photoshop files, so it's going to be very easy for you to use this tool. Um, so as you can see for stories, I used this image, I will just click on this, and here it is, as you can see this is the image, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to just drag and drop it inside Photoshop, voila, there it is, and then what I'm going to do is I'll go here, see this is the red label, your photo here, so double click on this little element over here, which is called Smart Object, okay, and then see drop image here, what I'm gonna do, I will just, sorry, I will just click on the photo and drag and drop the image here on my story. Of course I'm gonna find an angle that is gonna be cool. And then uh, I can just transform see, the image. Let's say in this case I want to rotate a little bit because I don't want this face here. Tuck. I'm just moving the image around. Uh, I want also the image to be a little bit smaller, so transform again and scale this time. I will just skip. So you just go at the very end of the photo, click shift on your keyboard, and then adjust the image a little bit. I'm moving it well, so it's gonna be look cool. Ta-da, I think it's cool. And then click here, okay. Um, what else? Uh, in some cases, uh, when the image will be will appear here, the image might be too, uh, whether too dark or too light. I mean, like, it's not gonna display perfectly. So, if you want, you can just select this, see, and the image will become a little bit darker. Anyway. I think this is cool, so I'm gonna 
just close the file, hit save, and this is our story ready to be published. Just one more thing, file, save for web. Here you don't have to do too much, but see the image is in very good high resolution. And as you can see, this is a very good quality. Make sure the quality is at least 72. My advice will be always, if you can, sorry, to use even 100. So the quality, sorry, not, not 2000, 100. Then hit save and save it to another new if you feel comfortable. I will save it to the desktop for this time. Voila. So as you can see, the stories. It is. This is our post, and you can just send this uh, Instagram story uh, file to your email or uh, to your phone through, I don't know, any kind of technology you use, but uh, normally I do this through Bluetooth or uh, most likely through the mail. Anyway, and then you will publish uh, this on your Instagram stories. Thank you so much, I think is everything for now. Um, make sure to give me a feedback about Organica. Um, I'm really curious to read your uh, opinions. Bye bye and keep on following me on So You Grow.